So in this video, we're gonna look at how you can create a living picture using Final Cut Pro. In another video, I've shown you how to do this using iMovie. But if you've got Final Cut Pro, this is a much better way of doing it. You get a much better, more accurate living picture. So here's an example of one in action. So here's my living picture. You can see there, candle and the uh, ornament here is spinning round the water is active and this water coming from the top here is that's the bit that's been frozen so how do you do this in final cut pro it's actually a lot easier and much more accurate than it is in iMovie so let's go to and create a new project and let's call this living picture i call it number two because i have one already so let's Say OK to that. Now I have my video here. So let's drag that video into my timeline. And the first thing I want to do, I just want to expand this just a little bit. And what I want to do is just find the in and out places. So I just want to, just before there, I'm going to break that there with a blade. And just at the end here, we're going to break it there as well. So, and then press the A button and then you can just delete that and delete that. So here, here is my image. Let's uh, expand that out a little bit more. Okay. Now I need to find a point in the video where I want to freeze it. So this is the point I want to do it. Here, I want to hold that moment. If you don't know where the hold is, just type in hold in help. And there's the hold. So we just go, and you can do use Shift H to do a hold. Um, so let's click on that. And there we've got that hold. Now what I want to do is break it at that point. So let's blade it. So we can press B for blade and then move up to the end there. And you can actually tell this from the sound here. So it's good to keep the sound in. And then we just use the arrow keys to just find the right location. So right there, and we click the blade. And there we go. So now let's press the A button and select this and move this to the top layer. Okay. Now what I want to do is this particular element I want to just uh, make longer. I want to fill the whole screen. So let's just bring that in a bit. And I want to make it the full screen. So I can change the speed in this. So again, if we just type in speed in help. So I can do a custom speed. It gives you there the, uh, the, the keyboard shortcut if you need it. So let's do speed. And then I'm just going to pull this out to the end here. Okay. And so now, but now the problem is, it's only showing the frozen picture and we're not seeing what's underneath. So what I need to do now is I need to go to my effects. You need to bring up the effects preset, which is on this button here. So you can click that and under effects, you want to find, and you can search for it if you want to, but you want to find the mask tool, but draw mask. It will be under the mask video menu, and then you take the draw mask and you drag it on top of the picture. So now it's saying, click to add a point control. So we've got a lot of control here. So I'm gonna start it just above the video. So I'm gonna click my first point here. And I'm just going to drag this around like this. I'm going to go around the glass. Okay, like so. And you can be really accurate with this. I'm doing this very quickly, but you'll get the idea. And then we're going to go back up here. And it doesn't really matter how many points you have. Okay, so there's our mask. And now, as you can see, when I play the video now, we've got that frozen screen but the problem you've got you can see either side of that mask now there is a little bit of video being shown so what we can do is we can drag these points and let's just drag them over a little bit so we've got a lot of control in manipulating where we want these points because there's no movement happening in this area so we can actually take these like this okay so now when we play it so And there we have it, our living picture, and done much quicker and much easier 
using Final Cut Pro. So the final thing to do is you need to export it. So we go up to file and I'm going to share this. I'm going to share it as an Apple device, 1080p, but you can choose the, the one that you want to share it to. And click on next. I'm going to save it in my movies folder and this is my living picture two and then save. And there we go, it's complete. So we can click on show. And let's click on that. It will open up in QuickTime once again. And now we have a living picture.